Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and today we are going to be doing another World Watercolor Month video. Whoop, whoop. That's right. We are going to be moving right on into day 23, which is local. Um, set the little dude aside. It's good, it's good. And I knew there was a reason I left this long, so that I could mark what page I'm on. Ta-da! We're on this page. Um, we are. I'm going to just cover that guy up so it's not distracting. Um, I have out my regular my regular palettes, which are my Schmanky Hordam at this point, granulating watercolors, which we're getting down there. We only have little tidbits left in all the colors. Even the um, <laughs> uh, Daniel Smith Bronzite Genuine is getting down there as well. This is the rest of this is just mud from all these palettes mixed together. So I'm gonna set that guy aside. I don't know that we're gonna need him today, but I do have out my core and um, I'm gonna show you my lovely, lovely look. Look, we're wearing down. Orange is almost gone. Yellow. You can see bottom on this blue. This one's getting little. See all the colors that I I use regularly? This one's even down there. Yep, yep. See this yellow, this green, this one's worn down a bit. Getting some use out of my my lovely paints. Kitataki Gansai Tambi, set of 48, by the way. <laughs> it is a really nice set of paints. 48, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. 30, 32. Yeah, 48. I had to, I had to figure that out apparently. <laughs> At any rate, local. So, what popped in my head was um, to do like the local gas station, or and it never fails every time I go to record. <laughs> local gas station or the local shop, or perhaps when you were young, uh, you lived in a small, smallish town. Small, small. I lived in a very small town, and we had something called a Tasty Freeze. I don't know if you've had a Tasty Freeze, but basically it's your local ice cream shop. I thought that we would go ahead and paint my, well, a version of a local ice cream shop today. I thought that would be a fun break away from all the other stuff we've been painting. And uh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna jump right in because these are supposed to be um, super short videos, right? Super short. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz just to get it rolling and then I use my watercolor my teensy little as usual it's even teensier now um am I gonna focus this is a castle arts cool gray deep number 166 watercolor pencil I've been using this to draw out all of my watercolor pieces and uh yeah I'm gonna flip this guy over though. I have all of these colors. See, this is a, a prime example of <laughs> me using everything I can. This is the back of my lid for my little palette. Um, but I don't wanna throw that paint away, right? Cause it's gorgeous, like nighttime colors or galaxy colors. I'm just gonna flip it over cause it's nice and dry. And we're gonna use the other side <laughs> to mix colors on. And I'm going to get in here and mix a sky blue. We're going to go ahead and drop in a gorgeous sky. Now, the core watercolors are really nice for that. I love their ultramarine and their um, phthalo mixed together for my sky. And then if you want a little darker on the top, you can put in a touch of indigo um, just to make it interesting. Skim that across the top. Ooh, look at that bleed. Mm. Tasty, tasty, tasty. <laughs> tasty freeze, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> I'm just accidentally clever sometimes. <laughs> I'll go ahead and drop in some sky like that. And then, because I do want, I do want it to be, actually let's go ahead, I love that bleed, but we're gonna go around. And this is where some more plants and bushes are gonna be. Plants and bushes, and then I want to put in some like delightful clouds. Let's blot our bushes back out. 
and our trees like that then we can come up here I'm gonna tilt this a bit so see that luscious color let it drip back down in look at that running or it's running it's running <laughs> so great and get some gorgeous color thrown in there and then come in and get in some doesn't need to be a lot just a, a smattering of clouds done super easy <coughs> I feel like the more I fuss a couple clumps of debris in there let's get that out of there the more I fuss the more I don't like my piece um, I'm dropping in some more pure blue ultramarine because I love the granulating effect it has and here and there like that and there that's our sky we're gonna leave it alone let's come down here and paint our um, parking lot and uh, the bit of green grass down here by the time we get done doing that we can move on up into our bushes up here let's go I have this lovely gray right here right here <laughs> up to the very edge of the paper that we're gonna do our um, parking lot in now I don't know about you guys, but the parking lot at my Tasty Freeze was not lined. It should have been, but it wasn't. It was, you know, small town, old school Tasty Freeze. You pulled in, you parked in rows next to the building, and, you know, you were courteous. Courtesy. <laughs> just, yeah, just throw that out there. <laughs> I'll just run our little parking lot right off the edge there. And here's the drive-in and the roadway. Right through there. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of black and put it like back here. The Gansai Tambi paints are really, really nice paints. Um, if you like that opaque feeling, um, I recommend them for sure. Let's get in a little bit of dark right there. And we're going to leave that alone. I'm going to let it be. Let's see what happens. Alright, now I want to do a greens. So I'm going to take um, this green right here and mix it in with my blues that I have on here. You guys see that? Not really. Let's pull it down a little and zoom out just to skosh out. Out's the other way. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to see a little bit of what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and drop in, I have this yellow green already right here. There's so many just beautiful colors already mixed, so you don't need to reinvent the wheel or anything crazy. And I just want to drop in a bit of grass right here. And then there's a grassy bit right here. This is made up in my mind, the grassy bits and the, the some of the foliage. The building is from a reference photo-esque. Um, kind of took some liberties with that as well. Go ahead and grab some of that mixed green blue and drop that in. And just let it mix on the page just for some just for some interest you know you don't want your greens to be boring that would be a crime right boring greens how dare she <laughs> all right there's those greens and don't be afraid to leave little splotches of white or light areas right 
Maybe there's a bush there that got away from me. We're going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it alone. Maybe we should do that over here too. Why not? A little bit of craziness. Doesn't need to be clean, right? Doesn't need to be perfect. High bushes so the neighbors don't run through this stretch of land to get to the to get to the tasty freeze on those hot hot days. The tasty freeze craze on those hot days. <laughs> I remember um, the tasty freeze being just you know a super special treat for us growing up. Um, it wasn't terribly expensive. But for us, it was like for mom and dad. It was, it was a, it was a treat for us to go get ice cream for the day, and you know, four kids and low-income family. Not that I'm complaining. I don't mind that I grew up poor at all. I feel like it gave me perspective about the world and what it's like to be in this world growing up. I'm throwing in, um, growing up, especially during COVID times when I was on my own and um, the years I lived without electricity or running water, the years I lived, and this is after growing up, the years I lived, you know, with little kids and one income and not knowing what I was going to do from paycheck to paycheck for like the light bill and stuff. And these things are, I'm gonna go ahead and poke that bush out a little bit past there. Um, things that would have been, I feel like for me, even more daunting and challenging in a negative way, had I not grown up with a perspective of, from a poor family standpoint. And when I say poor, I mean, mom and dad just didn't make enough money to support such a large family, even though they both worked more than full time, you know, and were always, always tired and um, a little sap green on the bottom here for like that shadowy feel. It's a summertime day, so we don't want it to be too shadowed, but you know. Give it some interest. Kind of a little bit of a, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, mm, not cartoony, but, well, yes, yeah. There we go, a little bit of that. Maybe touch over here. Like that. We'll let that dry. I guess what I'm saying is I learned to appreciate the small, small things in life, like um, a good meal, being with my kids and watching the same movie we've watched a hundred times, but we all love it. So we really like picked it again and we sat down with popcorn and junk food and cuddled up on the couch at night and watched TV and played board games and went for walks and to the library and just, you know, more quality time than um, some families spend together. Not that I'm judging at all. Not at all. Everybody's got to do themselves, right? But uh, oh, my kids played video games, <laughs> such as they were back then. <laughs> there was the daily, because I only had one computer back when the computers were huge, remember? They were, they, they were a giant brick. The screen itself was this giant brick um, back in the um, 90s <laughs> and early, early 2000s. Um, there was the daily argument for my children of who, who was going to get to be on the computer first and play the games that were available to them that I would allow them to play um, first. Like That was the daily conversation in the back seat on the way home wasn't a bad thing or a good thing it just was you know something that I found as a mom amusing that that was the like their big worry in life which is amazing for me I feel like I succeeded right that's their biggest worry is who gets to play video games first on the computer today um and I 
Ah, uh, gosh, I don't think... I don't even remember when the first... What year the first, like, real big game systems came out, like Xbox, PlayStation. Um, I personally have an Xbox. Um, it's what my son prefers. I, there are games that you can't get for the Xbox that you can get for the um, PlayStation, but, you know, such is life. All right, so we're going to go in with pink because... I'm gonna, once again, I'm going to flip this over so that I can have a clean surface. And we're going to use... I I mean, i got to get more of this pink, you guys. This pink right here. Clearly, I love it. And even this purple that's next to it is... That's pan right there. It's just pink because I keep dipping into both of them. <laughs> but it's a beautiful color. It's perfect for Tasty Freeze. Or an ice cream shop, right? Um, so, the Tasty Freeze, when I grew up, was blue and white. But this one, I want to do in pink and purple. Because I think it will look cool. Well, maybe not cool, but interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in pinks and purples. My own little color scheme. Um... So yeah, that was their biggest worry, coming coming home from school and, you know, spending time with Mama before they had to go to Dad's was, who gets to play on the computer first when we get home? After homework, of course. I wasn't completely silly. Ooh, look, he pops right out. Nice. Okay. I probably could have drawn the Tasty Freeze um, bigger, more like in the picture, I guess, but <laughs> too late now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in my purple that was next to my, it's not, it's just this pastel -y purple color, which I like to put, um, I don't know what color this one is. Um, excuse me. Oh, I just dipped my thumb in that. This one is purple. <laughs> Uh, lavender purple just a touch of it into that to make it a more vibrant um, purple you know bring that lavender up a notch and then we'll go ahead and do like the uh, it needs to be up a notch more maybe we'll go a little dioxazine in there as well more of a more of a True, but we'll put the pink in there, make it a more prominent purple color. There we go. But not too dark, right? We don't want it to be super dark. The little boards coming down, and then here. This is the bowl for our ice cream. You know, the full bowl. That is the rooftop. There we go. And then I'm going to do... I shouldn't do that. I want to. We're going to go cautionary yellow, right? Because that's usually what color the... Caution, don't run into my building. Come on, people. A little bit of pink, pink purple right here on this door. And then I'm going to use the iridescent white for my ice cream, my vanilla ice cream. I'm going to come in and just need more. Make it a little more opaque by putting some regular white in it. There we go. And we'll go ahead and drop in our ice cream. Our vanilla ice cream. Like that. Cool. 
And then this little box is also white, so I'm going to go ahead and plop that in as well. Blot out any boo-boos. Okay. So, there's that part. Did anybody really like going to the Tasty Freeze when you were a kid? To go get ice cream and hang out with the fam? Taking blue, putting in a little bit of shadow through there. Maybe we will make it a little more, um, just a little more. Can't, you can't park here. That's the yellow zone. That's where people are going to stand to order their ice cream, right? But you can park all the way around the building. That's right. Then you can park over here if you want to. I'm just giving you free reign to park over there. And maybe we'll put in some spots over here. Oop, a little too close. That's alright. Just wipe those out. There. Down to maybe there. But people gotta be able to pull in, right? And then maybe there's a few spots over here. Like that. I can go over that again in a minute. Let it dry a little bit. Mix up some opaque yellow. Put in a little bit of orange. It's not orange, it's cadmium yellow, but it's a more earthy color. And this will be our, our little... There you go. I cannot park here because this is where people are ordering their ice creams. If they don't want to go inside, you know? You can park around the building like that. There we go. Give these another little. Ooh, that's too much. Man, going and getting a hot fudge sundae. I don't know why I always chose a hot fudge sundae, but I did. Um. Daddy, my daddy always got um, the, uh, what was it? What was the bananas in it? Banana split. Duh. Wow. My whole brain. Did you see it explode right there? A little bit of curbside action here. I'm making this up as I go. Um. And then we'll put in a little, little curve here. Like that. Ta-da! Okay. And the top of our, our little dude here is almost dry. I would like to put in some little red sprinkles. Maybe we'll put a couple on the box over here. And then some pink sprinkles. Just a couple. And then yellow. Oh, that yellow doesn't show up very well. Yellow. Just a couple. Get carried away. And then blue. Maybe some. Let's clean our brush. Grab some pastel blue. And put a, oops, that's too big. A couple little pastel blue sprinkles on. Why not? Like that. There's our sprinkles. Okay. What else? Oh, our doors. I'm going to make all of our little doors purple. There's a door to go inside. Purple. Those are windows. Not windows to the soul, just windows to the ice cream. 
I mean, unless your soul screams for ice cream. Windows, window on the door. I don't know why my windows are super dark. They have shades down because it's super sunny out, that's why. That makes your windows look super dark. Good reasoning, I like it. All right, let's take our tape off. See what our sunny, our sunny, tasty freeze day. There we go. Fun. Not my best piece this this month, but definitely fun. Um, yeah. So used to love to take my kids to get a little ice cream, swing into Mickey D's. Oh, another thing we used to do. <laughs> which, you know, I'm sure many people will frown upon, um, was go to McDonald's, put cheeseburgers in our pockets, and uh, I'd order popcorn, of course, because you can't go to the movies without popcorn, but we put cheeseburgers and french fries in our pockets. <laughs> and that was lunch, and we go see a lunchtime movie with my kids, and we, you know, wait for the movie to start, and then I'll sneakily pull out our... Because no one can smell that, right? McDonald's cheeseburgers and french fries in the theater. Uh, uh, good times. All right. So um, I hope you don't mind my blathering on about summertime things and stuff and whatnot. And this is my painting for today for local, local ice cream shop. Uh, simple, sweet. Um, I really like my sky. I could work a lot more on it, but excuse me. Thank you. Little close up look at that sky. That if you don't like the granulating in your sky, don't use ultramarine. Ultramarine is what makes it granulate like that. Choose a different color that doesn't granulate, but I think it looks really pretty. And then there's our little tasty freeze. I'm gonna go ahead and get ice cream. I probably could have put some people in there. It looks desolate, like you know, zombie apocalypse hit, and no one goes to the tasty freeze anymore. Wow, things got dark fast. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go now. I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!